The decision by the NDC to change its leadership in parliament was greeted with an uproar by some members of the party here in the Aswasi constituency as their member of parliament, Muntaka Mubarak, was replaced by Kwame Abuja as the minority chief whip. Well, yesterday, some supporters also poured out their anger by burning car ties at the premises of the regional party office. <laughs> They were demanding for the immediate reversal of the decision taken by the party leadership. But today, the situation appears different. Some of the party supporters who were previously angry by the decision have decided to let go. We are saddened by the news of the parliamentary reshuffle, which affected our dear Honorable Member of Parliament in the name of Honorable Muntaka Mubarak. The news hit us so hard. But we believe strongly that um, Aswasi constituency is a constituency which was highly favored by the constituency or the national executives. They have done us the honor of giving our member of parliament the opportunity to serve in the capacity of the minority chief whip. So therefore, if today the party has decided that based on the generational change and the current economic situations, they decide that other people deem fit to serve in the capacity in order to make the agenda of 2024 and seeing His Excellency John Dramani Mahama going back to Parliament as the President of Ghana, then I think as party people who our loyalty is not for any individual but for the collective interest of the party, then we have no authority or whatsoever to disagree with leadership. Our MPs currently agitating over the shuffle would come to understand that the decision or the collective interest of the NDC should reign supreme. No. For now, tempests have come down, but some aggrieved party supporters still stand by their decision for leadership of the party to reverse its decision. We can't predict what will happen next in this constituency, especially when the member of parliament for this area is saying they were not consulted. We will be monitoring development here and update you subsequently. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Asawasi.